Hello, thanks for watching. Hope everyone's feeling good today. Right, it is uh, Wednesday the 18th of December 2019, stampeding towards Christmas at the moment, and uh, we're also stampeding towards last quarter. Uh, the moon is actually in third quarter at the moment, but uh, we reach last quarter uh, tomorrow the 19th of December at 4.56am uh, GMT here in UK. So that's not too long before midnight on the east side of the States and Canada, and uh, well into the evening, shall we say. Say, and on the uh, Pacific side. I haven't got the exact times in front of me, um, lots of things going on at the moment and uh, I'm sort of huddled into a little space with junk all around me because I've been clearing the house out. But there we go, uh, clearing the house out isn't a bad thing to do with the Virgo moon and uh, she is in Virgo at the moment. That's going to change uh, tomorrow morning as well. Here in UK that's going to be 10.04am uh, and uh, so let me see, 2.04am, gosh really early in the morning Pacific uh, 5.04 a.m. Eastern and then we will have the cancer influence but for the rest of today we've still got that uh, attention to details thing going on which is no bad thing at the festive season actually making sure nobody gets left out of stuff and uh, there is some fault finding going on as, as well as that sort of tendency towards cleanness and neatness um, just kind of try and be reasonable about that if you possibly can. Uh, whether you're finding fault or people are finding fault with you, it can't really be helped. Just one of those things, really. The moon right this minute is 63.7% full anyway and uh, the alignment she is opposite Neptune now we do have a fair bit of confusion today and this is where the fault finding Virgo thing could get a little bit out of control maybe even a lot out of control but uh, fingers crossed it's not going to be a bad thing right uh, but basically uncertainty and confusion do come up when we've got the moon opposite Neptune you know it's not like a square it's not like a trine it's not like anything else it's an opposition that's the bottom line and so feelings can run high it can be quite highly strung. People don't define their boundaries very clearly though and that, that is a big part of what uh, gets difficult with this alignment. So uh, gently, as gently as you can, do let people know what your boundaries are. That's kind of quite important not to be too vague about that. Uh, but altered perceptions, misunderstandings, you know, those two things go very closely together uh, are likely to be coming up today. So kind of just be as straight with people as you can be, sort of honest to the point, maybe in a gentle way, you know, but uh, certainly it's important to be straight with people. Now then, we've also got Mercury square Neptune, so Neptune is really kind of playing its role here. Jupiter's sextile Neptune as well, but we'll get to that in a second. Mercury square Neptune, communications unclear, boundaries vague. Not like Mercury retrograde at all, but just a little bit of that kind of, you know, difficulty understanding what people are on about and other people misunderstanding what you're on about. It really is a misunderstanding -y type of a day today. Um, look out for tricksters as well when we, we've got uh, Mercury square Neptune. If someone's going to sort of perpetrate a deception of some sort, this is the kind of day it might happen. And a big part of that actually is people trying to escape from reality. And uh, as, as Christmas comes towards us, I think quite a lot of people would like to escape from reality and actually some of us get the chance to do that as well but um it's not uh, not so much fun for adults as it is for sort of children when uh, the whole Christmas thing is a big escape and uh, no one sees anything wrong with that. Well, you know, maybe we could do with some of that childlike um, appreciation of the world, actually, just you know, let go of things because uh, it is a magical time. But look out for tricksters. Um, some things, you know, situations, whole situations can fall apart and uh, information gets lost. But at the bottom line, right, it is a good time for vision questing and uh, bringing things to completion, finding closure with things is all also something that happens when Mercury is square Neptune, so it's not all bad. Venus void in Capricorn, sorry, Venus void in Capricorn, and uh, again, you know, the the, uh, the highly strong nature of the Moon opposite Neptune plays into this because strong emotions tend to come up, and that can get people to uh, can move people to action. Really, it becomes a call to action, and because of that, people are taking risks that not everybody is happy about. Uh, that can be quite a problem in social 
stressful situations, particularly in families at the moment. Um, but you know, you know, I'm sure you all know about that one. You get an idea in your head, and not everyone supports it, but you've just got to do it. Well, why not? I can't really see why not. It's just the kind of day when we've got to be quite careful. Love and sex becomes a compulsive thing, and. Um, Emotional things, cultural uh, matters as well, uh, become the themes of the day um, with Venus, Void and Capricorn. Mars, sextile, Saturn. Now, this actually is really good advice because it's a time for keeping things reasonably formal. So respecting people's traditions, basically. And, um, you know, just again, set out, you know, what you, what you want, what you're actually looking for. And be prepared to explain a bit of why you want it in the most uh, gentle and maybe even generalised way uh, as possible. Um, but emotional things, you know, again, are still a big part of the situation. So people can get competitive. It can really get a bit tricky at this time. Uh, Jupiter sextile, Neptune, here's Neptune again, bringing confusion as it often does. Um, spiritual optimism, oh, that's nice. Idealism and people's hopes are high. Um, and people's expectations are high as well. And expectations and hopes, they're kind of two different things, really. But we tend to get them jumbled up and think that they're the same thing uh, with, with that uh, situation. Saturn conjunct Pluto. People are trying to control resources and it isn't easy. We can see the governments of the world that are doing that. And as we're all trying to make sure we've got enough for uh, the festive season, that can be a problem as well. But uh, try not to let it be a problem, basically. Try and keep smiling through all of this. That is the key to uh, most of what's going on. Neptune is really causing the confusion, and Neptune is actually void in Pisces at the moment on its way into Aquarius. So uh, things are vague, you know, not everything is known, and uh, people can become suspicious because of that. Um, it says here, the fabric of reality seems to be ripped asunder. That's another Christmas thing, to be quite honest. It really is. Um, but just try and keep the faith, really. That's the main thing. Uh, faith in leadership is low, it says as well. Well, you know, isn't that just the case at the moment? I, I really wonder why our world is uh, being allowed to be run by people that no one trusts. Um, hey, if you do trust leaders, great. Keep your chin up, be happy. Why ever not? But a tricky time, to say the very least. The main thing to do uh, today, though, is to be aware of anyway, is to be... Um Sort of try and keep on top of that uncertainty and confusion thing by kind of speaking clearly, speaking your truth, you know, I'm not saying kind of cover anything up, but speak your truth carefully and be aware that uh, people can't really help misunderstanding things at this time. On that note, friends, I'm sorry I haven't been here that much, but there is loads and loads going on here. Uh, I've just got to post some Christmas cards, I still haven't done that, so I better get cracking and do that now. Uh, have a fantastic day, and I'll be along again very soon, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully tomorrow, my friends. Peace.